hello guys we are back with our next tutorial in this tutorial let us go through closure properties so the operations to be performed on context free languages under closure union concatenation are closure properties like complement and intersection are non closure properties guys okay so closure property of c f else under union so for everything it is almost similar the process will be similar we'll be assuming l and m as a cfls g and h as grammars and s1 and s2 are the start symbols and g h g and h form a new language so union means l union m that is nothing but context free union right so l union m by the combining all the symbols all productions g and h at the new start symbol they should start at s1 or s2 that's it right so they should start among those two at least one position they should start that's it so under concatenation concatenation is nothing but combination of those two so s tends to s1 dot s2 so after s1 s2 should be there so closure of cfls under star star is nothing but clean closure so star means there should be many or none epsilon or s1 with any number of s1 guys basically any number of s1 okay so closure closure under reversal reversal means if ab is there it will be ba like this reversal 0 s1 1 s0 fine okay closure under homomorphism homomorphism is nothing but we will be writing the shortcuts guys so we can replace few things with a few things like here s tends to 0 s1 0 1 so they have given that h homomorphism of 0 is ab and homomorphism of 1 is epsilon so we will be replacing them and we will be forming the grammar so this are the few closure properties for cfls guys so in the next tutorial we will be going through a small topic that is nothing but deterministic find deterministic push down automata so let us meet in the next tutorial thank you thanks for watching